Hi guys, Squall here. Welcome to another Train Sim World 2020 video. Uh, we're in Brighton. We've been asked to assist with an incident that occurred overnight near Lewis. Okay. A report came in of a landslide near one of the tunnels. Engineers are already on site and the train has been arranged to take assist with the clear. Alright. So this is the British Rail. Uh, Class 66 EWS. And we are in Brighton, as I said. We're at some sidings. I think Brighton's that way. Yeah, there it is. There is some sidings and we're going to have to set this thing up. I'll show you how to do that. And, um, well, I don't know exactly what we've got to do. We've got to go and assist with something, whatever that means. But, oh, whether we're shunting or not, I don't know. It's dangerous to play on the track. This is quite cool. Look at this. I love this weather. It's entirely not like this in England right now. Normally, it's the other way around. Is that the... 377? I can't remember. Normally see the way around. Normally in the game it's nice and sunny and outside it's chucking it down with rain because it's England, right? Well, at the moment, it's sunny because we can't go out anyway. So there's the irony. Wow, this is a proper busy line. Blimey. Anyway, so uh, Brighton, in case you don't know where it is, on the south coast of England. It's uh, south of London. More or less straight south. And climb aboard. Close that and see what it wants us to do. I presume we're going to be driving that way, but with these old locos, I've got a feeling there may be... Hang on. Let me just sit down a sec. I've got a feeling there might be a loco... Yeah. There's one at either end, you see it? It's a double. So we may have to go and set the other one up, I don't know. Um, right, set up the lead locomotive. Navigate the... Bright. So this has got its system on board, called the EM2000, the Electromotive 2000. Uh, navigate to break out using the arrows and then press the F3 button on the M2000. So, we need to go to break out, which is that one. Hit select. Uh, change the brake type to cut in using the F2 key. Uh, so it kind of says cut out or cut in. Uh, head to the other driver's locomotive and sit in the driver's seat. Okay, we didn't do very much here, did we? So we've put the brake here on cut in. I suspect we'll be back in a minute, but I'll close the door anyway. Let's run down here. Graphically, this game is is so stunning. Every time I play it, it's like, wow, they're just the visuals are just extraordinary. Look at the detailing here. Um, I just wish it had more system stuff going on in it. Also, each DLC, they keep bringing out new DLCs, but each of them is kind of a rinse-repeat thing now. It feels like it has a timetable, a couple of scenarios, locomotive, a bit of track. On to the next one. I remember the original train sim, they were they often didn't go back and actually fix bugs that people had with their DLC. And that's where they took a lot of a lot of flack from. I think they're doing the same thing again, unfortunately. I could be wrong, let me know in the comments. Uh set up the rear locomotive, set the isolation switch to run, which is this one. Uh, insert the reverser key. It says the master key is gonna navigate to the brake, cut out using the F3. Okay, so we'll go down to break cutout, select, put that on cut in, hold the automatic brake release until the BPC needle is at um, 5 bars. So this loco, you effectively hold down, hold the brake down, and when you let go, the brake pressure that is in the pipe is, is set when you let go. So if we hold this down and then let go, it kind of stops like that, you see. If we, so whatever you want, like five bars in the top middle, that's brakes fully released. So if you wanted a little bit of brake, you could say put it on four like that. And it'll sit there until the pressure comes up to four and then it'll stop. So it is quite an easy system to get used to. Um, I quite like the, the brake system on this. We'll push it all the way around to five, which will fully release the brakes on this loco. There we go. Change the brake to cutouts done exit the current screen return to the main menu like that move the reverse master key actually before we do that should we stick the stick the tail lights on do we need anything else here I don't think so take the key out we'll head back to the other one you know what I don't know is model is the 
the actual master key. If you, if I left it in that loco and went to the front loco, come on. Why don't you want to close? Okay. Weird. Um, if I left the key in the front, in the back loco here and went to the front, would I not have the key anymore? Is there literally one key? Because that's how it should be. That is the whole point of it. Yeah, these sidings should be... You can tell, you can tell when the lines are not used by all the grass. <laughs> right, let's open the door. Get that, get that. Right, I think I'll open the window while we're here. I know it's raining, but I like the acoustics. Uh, right, set the ice on switch to run, engine run, fuel generator pumps on. Alright, this is all this stuff here. Isolation switch on run, engine, fuel generator and pumps. We'll put the master key in. Uh, prepare to depart. Alright, so let's get some lights going on here. So we're going to have instrument lights and we can control that on a dimmer. Like this, so I think that's probably quite a nice setting. Uh, we can put the lights on today. So we've got yard work, daytime, nighttime, and yard work. So we want daytime. Uh, Demister will put on. Ignore the brake test. And we want some wipers, which are, I think, not there. There they are. I don't... I can't remember if the rain hits the glass. So if you look here, it's animated on the side window. The rain is kind of running down the side pane, but it's not really running down the front one. Well, maybe, oh, there it is. Maybe when we get going, it'll actually do it properly. What's he got over here? Second man seat. I love the, I love the way they've got a hot place that the other guy can just basically make a brew. I just think that's fantastic. It's typically British. Just sit there and make a brew. <laughs> right, put the reverser into forward. Like that. And what does it want us to do? Let's press T and have a look on the timetable. Better depart, exit the current screen. All right, so it wants us to exit that. Set the automotive brake and release until the BPC is at 5 bar. Again, so we're releasing the front brake here. I'm going to bring up the throttle a little bit while I do that, just to catch any rollback. It's a level surface, so it shouldn't really roll back, but it'll be good practice, I guess. You don't want to be rolling backwards. Okay, next stop is bright, so we'll bring the throttle up. We're not fully loaded, so hopefully it should start moving at three. There we go. Don't want to overdo it. I don't want any wheels there. There we go. Welcome to sunny Brighton. What a crack. What time of day is it? 9.38. Looks amazing. So good. Right, I think your track limits will be... Everything's in miles per hour as well, because we're in England. So, if you're from the States, you're probably used to it. If you're from Europe, you're probably... Oh, miles per hour. <laughs> it's just a number. We have one number, and we have another number, and one must be less than the other. There you go. Let's throttle it back and cruise in. It's like 15 miles per hour is the track limit. So there will be trains coming and going in Brighton. We saw one coming in and one leaving. But it really depends on... I mean, they all run to a schedule, so... Sometimes you can time it where you're coming in and there's lots of stuff going on. And other times you'll be coming in a bit like this. There's not a lot going on. It's just the luck of the draw, really. Nighttime ops are quite fun as well. But there's not as many other trains, obviously. I don't really want to be going in so quickly into a actual platform, so I'm going to throttle back here. The Class 66 that we're in at the moment, um, it's a six-axle diesel electric freight loco. I think it was built by General Motors. Um, it's certainly got General Motors tractive motors on it. But uh, they were quite popular, quite popular in uh, the UK. I think they made, well, they sold them all over Europe, actually. I think they made about 450 of them in total or something, so quite a big number. 
I engage the brake here. Okay, that should do it. Let's knock that wiper off. Don't need that for now. Right, set the reverse of the master key to neutral. Uh, hold the automatic brake until the BPC is at five. Okay, so we're release, releasing the, uh, the brake completely. I'm guessing we're going to be switching ends now. Uh, navigate to brake cutout. Here we go. So we want the brake cutout select. We want cutout. And since we're going to be heading the other way, we'll turn off the lights, which it never told us to do. Turn off the instrument lighting. Just kind of reverse everything that we did here. It's not told me to do anything with these, which is interesting. I'm not entirely sure if we'll fail the mission if we mess around with those. Um, now, why did I get out on the track? I don't know why I did that. Hang on. That was that was a bit stupid, wasn't it? Because I've got a platform on the other side. <laughs> it's making life more difficult for myself. Close that, close that, there we go. Okay, lights are off. Also, as you come into the platform, really, you should knock the lights down. Um, a bit like they do in aircraft when they um, pull into jetways and knock off taxi lights so, uh, so they don't blind the, uh, the guy waving them in. You don't want to be blinding the passengers. You might realise what kind of price they've got. Right, let's get in here. Um, at the windows. I should probably have shut the windows, but I can't be bothered going back now. Set the isolation switch to run. Uh, that's on run. Engine run. Uh, okay. Good old brake cut out again. Exit the main menu. There we go. Set the reverse forward. Didn't tell me to put the key in, did it? Naughty. When the signals permit get moving, well, hang on a second. We want some instrument lights and we want some actual lights here. And we better put our wiper back on. Because it's still raining out there. Let's just check the lightings. Oh, frames. Check the lights are on. All good. It's even got a flashing marker. Uh, right. Release the brakes and we'll start bringing the throttle in. So you can see the position that you set it to obviously is ahead of the actual pressure. It takes time to put the pressure back into the pipes. Uh, it's quicker to release, obviously. Okay. And three. Interesting it doesn't move on two, but it does move on three. Okay, is there anything else I've forgotten here? I don't think so. Let's have a look at the uh, window. See you, Brighton. Stop at signal LW5, which is... Oh, it's 5.3 away. Okay, so now we're into the main stretch. So the first half of this looks like, you know, get the, get the train ready. Basically get it into Brighton so that you can switch and take out a different line. I'm guessing we're going to be heading in that direction, which is... East, I think? This is... We're on the south coast. This is probably north-ish. That's probably east. Um, I should probably tell. You. Yes, there you go. <laughs> I was correct. Um, so we're currently heading north northwest, and uh, we're going to be going out this way. So we're heading out to here. You can see the line. It doesn't really tell us what's going on. I can see a green dot there, which maybe that's where the actual workers are. Let's cruise around here. This is the uh, the famous curved bridge, the arched bridge that comes out of Brighton. Fantastic, look at it. What an amazing structure. And the, the houses, look at them, just underneath this thing. If you wanted to build this now, you wouldn't get planning permission. <laughs> Back then they didn't care, they're like, yep, we're building that. We'll just bulldoze everything in the way and build it. Industrial England. Looks good though. 
Right now, I do need to keep my own signals. I don't know if there's going to be any signal issues on the way. We shall see. We'll take whenever it throws at us. Uh, stop at LV5, stop at Kingston Tunnel. Disembark and report to the site coordinator. Okay, so it looks like we're not actually going to perform a mission as such. We're basically bringing the train to where it needs to be. Was it some fallen stuff? Maybe there's going to be like a crane there or something that's going to load things in the back of this. Right, we're going up an incline. Let's give it more juice. Should have put the cab lights on. Hang on. Uh, cab light. There you go. Oh, it's just so like incandescent, old school bulb, isn't it? Nowadays, this would be all modern white LED. Yeah, it does actually wipe the windows, look. Quite nice. Right, tr speed is trending upwards, and we're approaching the track limit, so we'll just knock it back a touch. So the, uh, the circle, the bottom right there, which is 32, that needle just above it, that's the trend. So if that's in the middle, you're neither gaining nor losing speed. And if it's to the right, you're gaining speed. To the left, you're losing speed. It's a really good indicator when you're trying to work out, on a train like this where there's no... If you like cruise control, it's all manual. It's a really good indicator to see what your train's doing. Uh, and you can use that in conjunction with the elevation, which is at 0.4% up. So we're going up this incline. Um, as this thing levels out, you'll see the trend needle go to the right. Because obviously we'll start to pick up speed as the, as the hill flattens. But we're doing a good turn of speed at the moment. So I'm happy with that. But I'm a bit concerned that we're at the limit of the track or very close to the limit of the track and I think the speed limit's about to go up so we should be good if we hit 35 there, there you go there you go so we'll give it a bit more juice now, get it going yeah so what I think the mission must be is bring these empty hoppers to whatever, I think it was a landslide or something like that, and then I presume they're going to load up this stuff with it, with the, the landslide, and then this train's going to remove it. Maybe there's like a follow-up mission where you can take this stuff away. It's one of the one of the things I would like to see more of this game developed. Like, you know, they've got quite a number of locomotives in the game now. You know, really, really nice locomotives not not quite as detailed as I'd like but you know it, they're good they're good they're, visually they're good they're very enjoyable to drive acoustically they're good uh, they've got a whole bunch of track what they don't have what they haven't done is they haven't really done enough scripting they haven't made the missions as interesting as they could be or should be and what they really haven't done is opened it up to everybody else so that we can't we can't go in here and, and script our own missions you know, multi-part missions where we take things from A to B, wait for some other stuff, load some things into whatever, disconnect some cars, take them somewhere else, like, stuff that would really just take one train and just do lots of interesting things with it. That's what I'd like to see. I'd be happy to pay for a DLC that was basically just full of missions. I mean, they do this in DCS. If you look at DCS Flight Simulator, you can buy, like, a, a Spitfire, right? Take a Spitfire. Plane. You can buy it, uh, Merlin Spitfire, you can buy it in DCS, and then separately there's like a mission pack that you can buy which contains fully scripted missions where the AI is kind of flying with you and fighting with you. You know, they do that for various planes. I'd like them to do that in this game. Create like mission packs. And throw some into the train DLC for good measure to get you going. Anyway, runs over. Where are we? We are east. Eastbound and down, as they say. 2.7 miles away. Incline's picking up, the needle's sliding back a bit, so we'll just give it a nudge on the old throttle. I think they've been working on the frame rates, you know. My, my PC hasn't changed. But I've noticed that the frame rates, uh, normally when it rains, the frames are, or can be, quite a bit tanky. Like, they, they, you definitely notice it. It's not Bob Ross or anything, but the frame rate is a bit low. Um, but I, I it just feel smoother. I kind of feel like there's been some optimization work. 
don't know if you guys have noticed that. I'm still waiting on a new PC, by the way. <laughs> I was build, building a brand new PC, and I was filming it all so that you could see it, and then obviously the current situation happened, and all the supply chains broke down, and I need a part, because one of the parts in the, in the build has failed. And right now, I think the part is about to come in. So then the bill can be finished, the video can be made, and I get my PC. Yay. Hey. This time, I'm going to go for an AMD Ryzen. I've not had an AMD CPU since, blimey, 2005, I think it was. I had a dual AMD Opteron system that I, I built Gen 2 Linux on. <clears throat> it was a great system. It's actually two physical CPUs, dual Opteron. Um, obviously, today's standards are utter rubbish, but right, let's get some slight braking on because we're going down a hill at quite a ferocious rate here. So we're just going to keep that speed under control and watch for any um, watch for any speed limit changes. Um, so yeah, I've gone for AMD. I kind of think like AMD is just killing it right now the CPU. I don't think Intel's got an answer. And then you stick PCIe 4 on, on the motherboards as well. Um, and yeah, it's just... I think Intel's got a couple of years catching up to do. 35 limit coming in. I was a bit late on that one. I saw the sign, but it was too late by then. There we go. Okay, so the trend needle, if you look, I'm just using, I'm releasing the brake because the trend needle says we're slowing down quite a bit. So I'm just kind of slowly edging the brake pressure back in. To try and keep our speed stable down this hill. Um, so yeah, it's going to be um, AMD Ryzen. Um, I think it's like the one with the... 12 cores or 16 cores, I can't remember how many cores it has, 39 is that 3900 or 3950 I can't remember the numbers 32 gig of RAM, same as what I've got now but the whole thing's a lot faster and um, using like NVMe drives for the operating system on my games and stuff so it should run pretty fast and uh, 2080 Ti NVIDIA, I, I do love NVIDIA graphics cards I, uh, I left AMD graphics cards a long time ago. People say the drivers are better these days, but I just... I remember getting burnt by drivers back then. And NVIDIA have always been pretty good for that, so... I'm sticking with NVIDIA for the graphics. Okay, what's our... Um, stop at this location. We meant to stop here, then. Yeah, let's kill some speed. Okay, just want to be careful because when you slow this thing down, like, the brakes are very, very good. Acceleration, not so good. Like, it takes a matter of 10, 20 seconds to kill most of your speed but it'll take you like over a minute to get it back. So I just want to make sure that um, we've got the speed under control, but we've still got some momentum to get us there. We are going downhill, which helps a lot. If 15 miles per hour, let's get the speed back now. If we just roll in now. Yeah, so there's an engineer there waiting for us. We've reached the incident site. Stop the train as close to the land side as permitted. This will aid with a fast cleanup. Okay, so I presume. Landslide is further ahead. Yes, 1.2 miles away, Kingston Tunnel. 
release the brakes. Oh, sheep. Are these sheep even fenced off from the road? They're not, are they? They just blatantly run over the over the road, though. That's nuts. Hi, right, Jeff. How you doing, mate? All good? You should get a hat or something, man. You're going to get soaked. It's going to go down the back of your neck. It's going to go inside that that coat there, and you're going to sweat, and it's going to feel nasty. Definitely wore a hat. Right. Let's be ready for some speed changes, because when you've got an incident like this, I'll quite often reduce the speed right down because there's literally workers on the track, so... Safety first and all that. Wait, whoa! Dude! What the heck? Wow! I see what happened. They distracted me with a guy here while the other guy snuck in. I did not see him get on board. He didn't say a word. Bro! At least say hi. Let me know you're coming in or something. Right, let's get a little bit of brake pressure going. I reckon there'll be a 20, then like a 10 or something. Maybe even down to 5 mile an hour speed limit. There we go. All the signals are flashing now. That's pretty bright, isn't it? It's really visible, that, that yellow signal. I love the way it like, has a glow around it as well. What's that sign? 35 miles per hour. But that's the normal track speed limit. There's going to be some temporary track speed limit, I reckon. going downhill. It must be in the middle of a valley, I guess. If there's like a valley, then it'll be um, a landslide in the valley, but... Just release the brakes a bit, because we're starting to slow down too much. I think 15's a decent speed. There's a sign here saying 10. There must be a track change here. As long as we've got control of the train, that's what matters. Oh, is that a bridge? Oh, is it? oh, yeah, Kingston Tunnel. So the tunnel must have had a landslide just at the entrance there. Right, let's get some brakes going. here look we've got the cranes and everything while the diggers nice 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 lovely jubbly what about that boss hey can't grumble with that stop i don't actually see the la oh yeah there it is on the right just where the the digger is so they got the pieces of track Reports. Climb down reports the site coordinator. They've got the digger there and they've got pieces of track ready, so I guess I just want to excavate it and stick it in the back of this thing. Uh, so let's see if we can just we'll put the brake pressure on properly. I don't want to go in anywhere. Uh, we'll put the reverser back. We'll kill front light. Anything else we need to do here? We'll leave the wiper on. Put the kettle on, mate. I'll be back in a sec. Shut your door so you don't get cold. Okay. It doesn't want to let you click that door, does it? Hang on, let's have a quick look around before it 
snagged us. Stop telephone signaler. So we've got some bricks. Wow, that is nasty. Yeah, that's that's gonna take a bit of a cleanup. Look at that. Trees and everything. Who brought the skip, by the way? Let's see what the boss has to say. Okay, mission done. Look at that. So we got some points for it. We kept some of the speed limit, apart from that tiny section there when I missed the uh, speed change. Your score, 2,870 action points. Time taken, 30 minutes. So that was, um, let me bring you back to the main menu. That was under scenarios and this one here, it's enclosure. Class 66, we three started guys, gold medal and everything. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed the video guys. That's it for this one. Until the next one, take care, happy training.